It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers, and it's all up next. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Today we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, it is officially a new era here in Green Bay. After a few years of Willie Woney with Aaron Rodgers, it is officially time to see Jordan Love quarterbacking the Green Bay Packers. And we'll find out what lessons he's absorbed along the way, how well he's mastered the playbook the respect he's gained from his teammates in the locker room. We know that love is in the air in Green Bay. The key is, what will love do through the air? Meanwhile, for the visiting Vikings, we know all about the skilled players on offense, but they're looking to make up some ground on the defensive side of the ball this season as they were second from the bottom in total defense a year ago. What they want to do is find a way to be more consistent on that side of the ball and not rely on making big plays late in games in order to secure victories. They want to be able to stop people earlier. That's what they're looking to do in 2023. Here's Anders Carlson set to get this one started and we are underway here at Lambeau. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Vikings set to go to work, and they're led by the leading passer in the NFC a season ago. Now in his 12th year, sixth as a Viking, Kirk Cousins. Minnesota's new coaching staff really leaned on Cousins for leadership and production, and the longtime vet was up to the pressure. 29 touchdowns, 4,500 yards, and a 13-win season, his best as a starter. Captain Kirk, he's quietly been one of the league's most productive passers the last few seasons. First play, here's Cousins. He gets it to Addison. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. It's a gain of five. It up second and five at the 28 yard line. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Cousins. He's got his target. That's complete. And yeah, he will have a Vikings first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. So, Charles, defensively here, you're going up against a veteran quarterback. He's got a lot of know-how, a ton of savvy, but guy who's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. What's the plan of attack? You spend all week pumping up your defensive front. Your defensive tackles, your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys who go after the quarterback the most because you know that he's not going to run and beat you consistently throughout the game. You can rush more aggressively off the edge and even up the middle because even if he evades you, he's not going to go very far. You have a lot more confidence going after him in the pocket. Now second and three. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Cousins. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. 
So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10 to throw. Cousins. Over the middle, that's caught by Harry. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Cousins, short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. From the red zone now, Cousins. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. On play action, Cousins. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. 13th play now, the opening drive. Will this be the lucky one? It's third and goal. Throwing his Cousins. This goes out wide from Madison. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. It'll be a gain of time, but it will also lead to fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. Joseph's got it, and the Vikings have a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Joseph now to kick this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the new look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out if Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. 
A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. From the 25, here's a second down and nine. Now the toss to Jones, running right. Able to slither by. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. I would say that's what you call a whole lot for a little, huh? When you bust that move out of the bag, you hope for more than four yards. But, hey, four is what he got. Now a third and six. Here's Love. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it, changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. On now is the Packers punter. Brandon Powell, deep for Minnesota. Let's take it inside his own 40. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five, and it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Play action now. Cousins. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Cousins. That is caught. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. He's able to get six, a nice pick up down to the 21. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four. Off the play fake, Cousins. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. In motion right is Osborne. Now a fake on the jet sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. 
Brought down that time by Quay Walker. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second down, Cousins. This is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with it. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Fourth down, field goal try coming, so Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph from Minnesota. The kick by Joseph is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing. So field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Man, yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Joseph now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6-0 as they begin with a first down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Love looking to throw it. He has it complete to Christian Watson. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now we've got a third and four. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Love, they go play action now. Here's a diving catch right side. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down, saves him from a three and out. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Love. Taken in by Watson. And he's got this down to the 35. Back to back nice gains. That one from 14 yards and another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Love now to pass on first down. And his throw is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. So two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and 10. Going back to Love. 
And the man is much greater to tight end. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 17-yard line. He's certainly done a nice job splitting the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Play action this time with Love. And it's caught. And he's brought down. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Jones is in. Touchdown, Packers. So, part it was a passing game to drove him down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Anders Carlson now for the point after. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And now out comes Minnesota. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game. But one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On second down, this is Madison. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. The offense on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. My, my, if maybe that ball is two yards shorter, it's going to give them the lead because he had a receiver running free there. That's a tough one to miss on. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on the punt for Minnesota. The rookie, Jaden Reed, deep for the Packers. This is fielded at the 27. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. 
making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Play fake. Here's Love. Completes it again to Dubs. Yeah, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Now a first down carry by Jones. And yeah, he's gonna get a gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down in the yard. Again, it's Jones. Oh, nice move. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Working out of the gun. Love. And he's got it. It's caught for the Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs, a nine-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Carlson on for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. So that drive spanned five plays. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Send this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday to press it a little bit. This might be the case. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and eight. Cousins. And this throw incomplete. 
And the defender all over at that time would lead to third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So the fact on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Cousins to throw it. They'll get this underneath to Madison. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. A first down throw for Cousins. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Cousins again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. So danger averted for the moment. But now here's a third and long. Here's Madison running left. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Green Bay about set for another series. Here comes Romeo Dobbs. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because I looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Now a second and ten. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. Loose inside the 30. will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Now Carlson for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the result, a Green Bay score.
So now Carlson after the touchdown called on to send this one away. Nwangu now from his end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the Vikings going to take over here one more time before the half. And with time quickly fit here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. Throwing his cousins. And that one too wide and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing, Cousins. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Cousins. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Final play of the half, Cousins. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. What a real head scratcher there. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 49 yards out. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly wicked game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. It was an excellent first half from quarterback Jordan Love. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Packer offense ready to go and begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that for the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Off the play fake, Love. 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Vikings will take over here, first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. To throw is Cousins. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Cousins. And that went to the right side and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Cousins. And they're going to get this up to midfield. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. And you start to think, if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. Cousins now from the 50. Over the middle, that's caught by Harry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Brings up second and two at the Packers 41 yard line. Now a second and two. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. 
Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's Madison running on first down. Oh, able to avoid him. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 40 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Going to run with Madison again. And yeah, he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now second and nine. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And from the 34, here's second and four. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Who with a juke. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards, first down, Packers. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Love now. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he's got it inside the 10. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 48 yards. Another big play right there. This is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. Dillon is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time, second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. 
So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And now out comes Minnesota. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. To throw, Cousins. This one caught by Osborne, right side. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now it's third and three. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, they, don't, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a yard. Love, they go play action now. That's complete to Dobbs. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 22 yards there, a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10, down at the 33. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. 
And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 84 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On play action. Love to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the two now, second and goal. Oh, the option will hang on to it. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jordan Love scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Packers start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one, you're exactly right. Clean sweep, and boy, they're gonna celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Minnesota. Still down very big on the scoreboard, but a little feather in their cap here. And it's a big-time play, and if you don't get energized after a kick return, well, then your team just doesn't have any spark. We'll find out if this is the start of a big comeback or just cosmetics as we go along. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 25. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They can definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31.
The Packers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Up the middle, Jones. And they can't bring him down. And shutting him off, now open field. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Vikings 37-yard line. 116 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here comes third and the length of the football. To throw now, here's Love. He's got his target, that's complete. And he's gonna have the Packers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Love now to pass on first down. The left side completion to Jones. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that's gonna bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play. Don't Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield, you're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Love. That's the craft, the tight end. So he stopped for no game. And third and eight now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. In search of eight yards on third down, they've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Escaping a tackler at the 25. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this was like a lost cause. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Cousins. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Kenny Clark able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He lets one go, deep for Addison. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Carlson on for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Back to it after the pick six. Cousin, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Meanwhile, Cousins throw taken in by Hawkinson here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Uh, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. 
Again, it's Cousins. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, here's Cousins. And that will be incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And here's Ryan right now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 138 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.